Now 4.30 on WKYT This Morning. Police search for answers after an unidentified body was found in a central Kentucky creek. What's next for the investigation? Coming up. Two fugitives are behind bars after an in intense search in Powell County. Their parents talked to reporters. That's up next. Storms are ramping up and not calming down anytime soon. We have a tornado watch in effect. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. And even some warnings down south. Taking to your latest forecast coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. It's your Friday, April 10th. We're delighted you're with us as we do have some storms in the area. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. We really start to hear it come down here at the studio, so can only imagine what you're dealing with at your house. Micah, what say ya? Well, we're looking outside and we're seeing first alert severe weather day holding on to a few warnings down south. These warnings go until 4.30 a.m. And you see that in the far southern zones of Casey County and then make your way down into, say, Russell County. That goes until 4.30. Lake Cumberland region dealing with these storms, mainly just damaging winds out of this. But we have had a tornado warning in effect, and that just came off just about 4.25. So we have had some spin here and there. It's just something we're going to get Really need to be watching here in the next several hours. We have a tornado watch in effect until 8 a.m. for the red shaded area. That does include Richmond and Lexington, Frankfort, Danville, Lawrenceburg. Work your way northbound across 75. But as you go and approach the eastern zones, there you are. Severe thunderstorm watch until 10 a.m. So we have a while to go, but I'll take you into that further detail, timing, and all this coming up. Okay, we'll see you in a bit, and we'll keep everybody informed throughout the morning. Yes, and as Mike mentioned, we are under a first alert severe weather warning. While we expect more storms across the bluegrass later today, some folks are still cleaning up from yesterday's storms. In Ashland, city leaders have closed Central Park because of a lot of trees that were blown down there. Some trees fell on cars, others are blocking the sidewalks. Police there say the park will be closed until further notice. Flooding from the storms is causing some serious damage for other folks as well. In Bourbon County, workers at Houston Oak Golf Course are dealing with thousands of dollars worth of damage. The course had to be closed last week. It has not been able to reopen since. When you have something like this happen, it, it, it really hurts things. So April showers, so hopefully we're, we're getting a lot of flowers in May. Golf course officials have requested emergency aid from the state, and they are waiting for those assessments. Don't forget, you can always track severe weather when you're away from your TV. On WKYT.com, you can take control of an interactive first alert defender and zoom right up into your neighborhood. You can also download the WKYT first alert defender radar, the app for your iPad or your smartphone, and just search WKYT in your app store. Investigators are still trying to identify a man found dead in a Madison County Creek. State police say a group of canoers found the body Wednesday in Silver Creek near Richmond. Investigators have not been able to figure out how long the body was in the water or how the victim died, but they think he could be from that area. You know, we do have uh, missing persons cases uh, that do come into this post. So we, we've, we've correlated kind of, kind of who we think he may be uh, back to those cases. Uh, it looks like it is going to be a case from here in Madison County. An autopsy has been scheduled for later today. Two Wolf County robbery suspects accused of running from a jail transport van are back behind bars this morning. Police arrested 19-year-old Dallas Trent yesterday afternoon, about a day after they found his cousin, 23-year-old John Trent. WKYT's Monique Blair has the story. Just, we're just thankful he's okay because we've been right out there looking with him. Kentucky State Police have warned the public for the past two weeks about the two escapees, John and Cody Trent, saying they should be considered armed and dangerous. But Cody's dad and stepmom say he's just the opposite. Cody's not a bad boy. He, he just young and he went down the wrong road. He, he He's a good boy. I mean, he just, he just got the wrong people. Although he'll likely get more jail time, Trent's parents say they're thankful he won't be on the run anymore because it means he is safe. Relieved. Relieved. <sighs> Very relieved. I mean, seeing him step out was because we've been right out there searching yeah. too. We're thankful he wasn't in the river or 
but he's alive and he's okay. Today's intensified search for Trent started earlier this afternoon after police got a call saying a driver almost hit a man while he was trying to run across Mountain Parkway in Clay City. Trent was caught just a few hours later. We love him. <laughs> we love him. And we're, we're glad maybe now we'll get him straightened out. That was our Monique Blair reporting. The Trents are now being charged with second degree escape in addition to previous robbery charges. Bourbon County police have arrested a man who they say shot into an apartment building and injured a person. Police were called to the Rucker Village apartments in Paris around four yesterday. The victim says he and the suspect got into an argument and then the suspect pulled out a gun and fired shots. One of the bullets grazed the victim in the ear. The victim was not seriously injured, but he tells us it was a close call. If it had been a couple more inches to the side, I'd been dead right now. I just. Thank God I'm alive still. I was coming over here to see my family, my wife and my son. And next thing I know, I'm getting shot at. Paris police have arrested 23-year-old Antonio Farron for the shooting. He is charged with assault, wanton endangerment, and evidence tampering. New this morning, a motorcyclist had to be airlifted to UK hospital after he crashed in Bath County. Dispatchers say it happened just after 10 last night in the Sharpsburg area. They say they're not sure how the man crashed and they're not sure if drugs or alcohol were involved. Police do say the man's injuries were not considered to be life threatening. It's been nearly a month since Nicholasville police officer Burke Rose was killed in a crash, and now members of the community have stepped up to help out the family he's been forced to leave behind. Hundreds came out last night to benefit for Rose in Nicholasville to raise money for his family and show their thanks to the fallen officer. They say it's important to give back because of what officers like Rhodes do for the community. My thought is that the people that serve their country, serve their state, need to be recognized and I don't think enough of it's done and I think more people need to take you know hold of this thing and help these guys. Wow organizers say they raised nearly ten thousand dollars for the family. A group of Kentuckians petitioning Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell in Lexington to confirm the appointment of a new attorney general. Loretta Lynch is there or the people are saying that they want her to be confirmed. And so they're holding this office, though they are holding Ms. Lynch um, to, to make a point to President Obama and to all other Americans who would like to see her confirmed. Senator McConnell was not in his Lexington office yesterday. However, the activists say they were able to schedule an appointment with his representative for some point later today. The committee in charge of creating those redistricting plans for Fayette County Schools has come up with a new proposal. Our news partners at the Herald Leader report the committee will present its proposed maps for elementary, middle, and high schools during a meeting next Tuesday. That meeting will be open to the public. It begins at 6 o'clock Tuesday night at the district office on East Main Street. After days of speculation, seven UK basketball players made it official. In a press conference in yesterday, Dakari Johnson, two. Carl Towns, the Harrison Twins, Willie Cauley Stein, Devin Booker, and Trey Lyles all said they'd be going to the NBA draft this summer. Uh, it's been pretty hectic and, and definitely overwhelming, but uh, I think uh, I'm just blessed to be in a situation like this. Millions and millions of, of, of guys um, around the world would would kill to be in my situation right now, so I'm just blessed. It's been my dream since I was seven years old, you know, and you know now finally being able to you know, make that move is, is crazy for me to think about. And uh, you know, like you said, in the drive or at the park or something, you know, just mimicking, you know, making last shots and stuff like that. So you know, it's just crazy to think about that it's actually happening now. Well, this is the biggest draft class in program history. If you don't have a ticket for this morning's Maker's Mark bottle signing at Keeneland, you may be too late. Keeneland leaders say as of 9 o'clock last night, fewer than 200 tickets were available for the signing, and those were going fast. They say without a ticket, you will not be able to have your bottle signed today. This year's bottle features legendary U.K. basketball coach Adolph Rupp. Some of his All-American players will be on hand for this morning's bottle signing. And after today, it's going to be beautiful for the weekend, so why not take some time to spruce up your backyard? The 40th year for the Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show underway. The show will feature many local exhibitors who are ready to work with you to get your home and garden ready for the outdoor season ahead. 
plenty of opportunities to check it all out. It runs today from 2 until 8, and it starts back up again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Love to see you down there. You're yeah. going this afternoon, right? I will be there this afternoon with bells on. And I'll be there uh, tomorrow morning, I think, Mike, in the afternoon. So stop by and see us. WKYT this morning, just getting started on your Friday. Can't afford a big vacation this year? Why not plan a staycation? Moms Every Day has some tips for planning ahead. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings down toward the south and southwest. Those are moving and everything else, really, moving toward the northeast. Severe weather threat dwindling away back toward the west. Get into your latest forecast coming up.